Good morning, everybody. From Melvin. Uh, so we are leaving Melvin today and mm -hmm. picking up Blueberry at our friend's house who lives just... Two hours by bus and train? Yeah, east of Melbourne. But first we're going to Queen Victoria Market. You can tell it's the market because it says Queen Victoria Market on the roof. We walked really far away so you could see that. It's the biggest market in Victoria and we're going to eat food here. <laughs> So when we went to the market in Adelaide, uh, a lot of the people there told us that was the largest market in the Southern Hemisphere, but this one feels a lot bigger. Tia found donuts. Okay, we're gonna do coffee first. I feel like I want. I feel like starting the day with a donut is probably not the best. Apparently, this place is famous. She's been talking about it uh, since yesterday. Gluten <laughs> free muffin. You're gonna get a donut. Well, should I get a muffin or a donut? You should get the donut. Should I? Okay. You wanna share a coffee? Yeah. We found coffee. And we've, we've started like the last several vlogs just trying to get coffee. Oh yeah. So you guys, the coffee in Melbourne's great. Uh, we did get a lot of flack for going to 7-Eleven once. It's a lot that cheaper. That coffee's a lot cheaper. Yeah. And it's not bad, honestly. It's really not. That being said, we've been to like a dozen different coffee houses mm -hmm. in Melbourne and they've all been excellent. This is the first one we've been to in Victoria Market though. That's really hard. Oh, yeah. it's a long black. I thought it was a flat white. I'm sorry. Shavia also wanted one of these. They're called potato fingers, which is the cutest name. Oh my god. Well, it's half a potato finger. You want to try it? It's a Burek finger, they call it. Probably like a... B-U-R-E-K. Like a Brekkie thing? You think? It's not Brekkie, it's Burek. Oh. Mmm. Mm. That's really good. It's like a savory potato sandwich. It's pretty good. Let's do Let's eat my speciality. These guys are auctioning off fruit for crazy low prices. It's <laughs> crazy like low prices. fifteen dollars for a box of grapes. Yeah, there's. I think they're saying three dollars a kilo for any of their fruit. That's pretty good. Do we need fruit? She is looking at yeah. gloves and socks made of possum fiber. What comes in New Zealand are pest the environment. They are a different animal than what you have. Oh, okay. I think so. By so. getting rid of the pest, you help with the environment. And then mix it with wood. They oh, even sell kangaroo skin. <laughs> this is apparently what they call the meat hall. So we've seen kangaroo meat several times in Australia now. We still haven't tried it. And I want to hear from Australians, what's the best way to eat it? Like, how should we eat kangaroo meat? Should we grill it? Should we do a steak? A burger? I don't know, is it gamey? Chili 
First time? Mm -hmm. First time? Yes. <laughs> this was $11 USD. It's an absolute massive amount of mussels. So this one's coconut and tomato. Tomato. They say this one's won like a bunch of awards and stuff. We're at a place called the Muscle Pot. Mm -hmm. They were so sweet. Have you ever had muscles like this before? I don't think so. Only like in pasta. Do I use two or is this just the one? I'm not gonna judge either way. Okay. It's actually really good. It's really spicy too. Oh, it's like chili, your chili coconut tomato mm, sauce. Okay. I personally don't like the visuals of mussels. They look a little weird to me, and the texture is a little weird, but the taste is like phenomenal. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is excellent. It's not even fishy. Usually mussels are really fishy. That's fantastic. How's the bread? <laughs> really good. I think it's sourdough. Well, this market is from the late 1800s, so it's over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. There's 600 stalls, which is insane. There's buildings all over the place. We're like in the main building right now, which is fruit, veggies, uh -huh. some food, and then also just like miscellaneous t-shirts and stuff like and that. And we just happened to be wandering towards the direction of the donuts, so... Okay. I think they only sell them for five for ten dollars. So are we getting five? You get, you want five donuts? Yeah. You don't want five donuts? <laughs> They're American donuts since 1950. Ooh, we get to judge these ones. Okay, they're not shaped like American donuts. They're like kind of wonky, uh, lumpy, but not judging. That's so pretty good. I don't think I've had a donut this fresh before. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I gotta try it. Mmm, it's like yeasty and sugary. There's so much sugar. Mmm. Ooh, that is really yeasty. I like that. There's no jam in this one. That's what the jam's supposed to look like. Try that one. Okay. <laughs> My hands are gonna be so sticky. Oh, it's like hot jam right in the middle. It's like strawberry, raspberry jam. Oh my god. Okay, moment of truth though. What? Which market do you think is better? <laughs> We're not gonna answer no. that. Definitely not. <laughs> um, we gotta go to our hotel and pick up our luggage. Thank you. <laughs> so there is a stadium right there. I just wanted to address why we didn't go to an AFL game. And we actually were just about to at that stadium back there. Um, but they only had tickets remaining where it was standing only. And just the idea of filming in a crazy hectic crowd like that gave Tia a panic attack and um, it's just not a good time for us to do it it's still on our radar but we're lucky enough to have really really kind people watching these videos so I'm sure you guys are gonna understand everyone just has their own battles as a person is so much bigger now and I'm like running into things and going up and down stairs is super awkward. I guess it's just kind of get, getting used to it.
stop for 22 minutes. Blueberry. I know it's a bit weird, but I've missed this little car. There she is. Uh, this is our friend's house. His name is Simon. We met him actually back when we were motorcycling across Vietnam. We just happened to run into him in a city called Da Nang. And he's letting us stay here. He's actually off on an adventure in Southeast Asia right now. But uh, he let us stay here and he let us park Blueberry here which was an absolute lifesaver. So thanks again for that, Simon. And uh, we've got a long drive today, um, but first we're gonna get Blueberry for some love. She's definitely due for an oil change, and uh, we're just gonna get that done real quick this morning. This whole area, it's uh, east of Melbourne. It's actually very, very pretty. It's like a, I think it's an, uh, an Australian national park out here. It starts with a D, but I forget the exact name, I'll put it down here on the screen. But it's, it's gorgeous out here. This is really, really nice. I just gotta get this started. if Chavio pointed out that today we have a fairly long drive. I think it's about seven hours. And uh, we actually have a long drive every single day for the foreseeable, for the foreseeable future. Um, hold on, I drew a map. Oh, okay, I didn't draw it, but I printed out a map. And this right here, oh, you can see it. And that right there is the distance we have covered last time we were here. Um, it took us a couple months to go from Perth all the way to Melbourne, and now we have to go all the way up and around in the same amount of time, or shorter, depending, because we also have to sell blueberry in Perth. So, it didn't really dawn on me how large of an undertaking it was until this morning. Um, obviously, Chibi was way more optimistic about this, because this is... This is reeks of a Chivio scheme. He's confident, so I guess I should be confident too. My darling. Hey, darling. How's it going? It's good. Are you here to tell me breakfast is ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. Okay. Back in Blueberry! Back in Blue it kind of feels like coming home, you know? In this really strange way, because this is the most home that we have. Yeah, kind of. At least the most familiar thing. I miss Blueberry a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay, so did you tell them when you were no. inside? What? what where we're we going? We're going to the Australian Alps today. Yeah, I'm so excited for it. 
And for those who are thinking right now, yes, we did decide on the inland route. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people did recommend the coastal route, but here's the deal. It's winter in Australia now, mm -hmm. so it's cold, and I think the coast is just not quite as interesting when it's cold outside. And uh, also we've spent, how many, the last three or four thousand miles? Yeah, just hugging the coastline. Just hugging coastline the entire time, and it's been absolutely amazing, and we're going to see more coastline before we leave mm -hmm. Australia. But we're going to go inland a little bit. We're going to go see Canberra. Canberra. <laughs> but uh, first, the Alps. First, the Alps. So that's our goal today. It's a long drive. It's yeah. seven hours. Yep. Yeah, so that's going to be our day. Wow, this is a moody hotel room. Yeah, it's very moody. It smells like, like Axe. Nice. The last three hours of that drive was a very narrow, very twisty road. But on the bright side, we saw snow. Yep. We have not seen snow in a long time. Mm -mm. It didn't even snow when we were in Japan. So, snow. <laughs> Tomorrow we have a good adventure in store. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming with us today. Subscribe! Oh, that was so weird. <laughs> I have to figure out how to turn this off. Oh, it's backwards. I can never tell if you're recording or not. Are you recording? Yeah. She is giving me a tough time, but this is nature's food. <laughs> oh my god. You're ridiculous. That is so good. Yeah. What are we saying? <laughs> I don't know.